Hello guys, this is Frederick here. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, cow comfort and how you can reduce the stress of the cow. So I hope you have been good. It's, uh, it's uh, been a day. I've not uploaded any video. But today I want to talk to you about the cow comfort. So right now I'm in the cow shed. That's my cow right there. Uh, the first thing that you have to do uh, we start with the, the beddings. So, as you can see, I'm using sawdust, which I change each and every three days. After every three days, I have to change the sawdust. And then, I have to wash the cow. I have to spray the cow and spray the cow shed. So, if you, I take you here, uh, these if I try to dig, it is like uh, uh, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, that makes the cow so, so comfortable. So remember, for cow to produce more, you, start, you have to start with the cow comfort, then the feeding, and uh, the rights. So when I come to shed now, at the ground we have stones and uh, I have sprayed some sawdust for the cow to be so comfortable. Look at that cow. Yeah. Once you do that, you will reduce uh, the cow stress at a very high rate. The cow will always be comfortable. The cow will, will, will not be having stress. Yeah. So you have to be very keen on that uh, another thing is uh, you have to to know which the, the things that you need like now we have a mineral block here as you can see there's a mineral block yeah so it have to keep on uh, reeking and all that so that it can supplement the mineral if the the, the mineral that you give you using during the concentrate or not enough it will uh, bearing on that uh, brock. So that is a salt brock there, the mineral brock there. Then here we have clean, fresh uh, drinking water, the water that you can drink. Yeah. So that is, there must be very clean drinking water. Uh, right now it is feeding on uh, uh, hay and uh, hay mixed with napier grass my silage dried up and currently we had drought in our country so uh, I must uh, right now I'll be dealing with uh, with uh, Napier and hay many we, I call it many so it is in calf uh, for months yeah so this is my cow and I love it so never never beat your cow never beat your cow once you beat your cow it will start fearing you and such your production the production it, it will get stressed and the production will go down so always make sure your cow strips on a comfortable bedding so we have different types of bedding like now we have these for sawdust other prefer uh, mattresses rubber mattresses other prefer sand other prefer soil so it is up to you to to with your money capabilities eh, you and the locally available resources you are the one who is supposed to choose which you can afford so for me i choose uh, sawdust because it is locally available uh, we have a sawmill nearby where i source from so I start go for a 50, 50 shillings. That is like 50 cents. 50 cent dollars. Yeah. So you have to, to know which one you are capable of. So for sawdust, you don't require water to wash it and all. Unlike mattresses. So for rubber mattresses, you have to keep on. You have to keep on. Uh, so it was eating this. And it is very happy. So... For sawdust, you don't need, require so much water. But for rubber, you require so much water uh, so that you can keep on washing. Keep on washing.
So uh, for, for, for rubber mattresses, you have to keep on disinfecting. And although even for sawdust, you have to keep on spraying, yeah, for the cow to not to. And then you have to, to make sure that there are no dogs. There are no dogs nearby that comes and strip on your cow shed because they will start uh, spreading freeze and you have to be very, uh, very, very keen on that because those will bring about those trees and you'll make your cow to be so be very keen when you are uh, choosing which uh, bedding that you want so for me i've told you is uh, sawdust even here as you can see so i'm using the, the the sawdust and the cow feels so comfortable yeah yeah so don't give up on farming keep on uh doing all you can to make uh, farming comfortable by the way, dairy farming is a very very comfortable uh venture so i okay my tip my timetable start I, I woke up at uh, four but i have to do some reading and all that then at five i milk the cow i feed it after milking i feed it with concentrate uh you see it it it, it loves the mineral broth so i feed it with concentrate and uh, i add now feed currently i'm feeding on uh hay and uh, napier grass and then you have to i clean the the water trough this water trough each and every day and uh, i add a fresh drinking water but because here we use the water from the tap, as you can see the tap there, I have some cans there, which I fill with water, that they stay for 24 hours. Then, uh, because the water from the tap is chlorinated, I have to uh, keep the water to, to, the, to, those jerry can, to those jerry cans. Then, in the morning, I, feed, uh, I put it into the water trough. So, uh, dairy farming is not uh, such a... Uh, tiring job it's about planning yeah if you plan yourself if you plan for fodder if you plan for uh, water yeah there must be a source of water you can't venture into dairy farming if there is no uh, source of water so you must look for source of water and uh, uh, another thing is fodder I've told you the fodder uh, you have to feed quality fodder not about quantity but you have to feed quality fodder in the right quantity so whenever you are fetching for so, uh, fodder so you have to look for all that then uh, other basics that you have to, to run as you go on as you enter into the system you keep on learning you keep on learning yeah you keep on learning so always seek for knowledge and uh, I believe you'll be a good dairy farmer. You will be a good dairy farmer. So that's a bedding. Yeah, it is a 10 inch sawdust. So it will not injure the cow's hooves or knees or anything. The cow will strip well. It will eat a bit and then it will go to strip. So that is my milking area there. I have a small trap, a trough where I put a concentrate. That is after milking. Uh, I also add uh, some concentrates when I mix them with feeds. Like uh, like I'm telling you, I, I'm using uh, the hay and the napier grass. I add some, I add uh, concentrate. I add toxin binder because you know, when you are cutting napier grass, you, there's some, if you are cutting at the down, you may, might attract some toxins from the ground if you are feeding hay uh, hay might have, have uh, grown some mold yeah so you have to add some toxin binder a small amount toxin binder so that uh, you can fight the toxins uh, then uh, if you go to those basics those basic things those basic uh, you go for so start small right now i'm having one i had so many cows 
like okay, you can see i've started demolishing the yeah, the shed so i had so many cows but due to the drought and uh, lack of knowledge i inexperienced i had to to cull some so right now i'm remaining with this one is a lactating in uh in calf uh and uh, i also there i have a heifer let me show you the heifer so this is my heifer <laughs> it's one year and uh, some months because it was born on 23rd 10 2021 so it is like uh uh three plus uh one year five months but i had a poor start that's why it has not come on it on time so this is a, a simple shed as you can see the bedding is still the same the sawdust and uh the sawdust and for heifers you have to put a a rock there so that it cannot go in because what it does it uh, urinates and uh, inside the bedding and that's not good for for the cow so that's my heifer i'm just trying so i want you to walk with me this uh, this journey so that you can see anything is possible if you put your mind onto it yeah if you put your mind onto it and you love cows i believe we'll go far and i'll continue sharing the experience that i've gained uh, for those years i've been a dairy farmer and uh, i'll continue sharing knowledge to upcoming farmers yeah i hope you you will continue watching my videos as we share knowledge because uh there's no need to die with so much knowledge and you are not sharing i'm not doing this i do this for passion yeah uh, but i'm starting to do this as a business so I'll continue doing this. I'll continue educating uh, farmers, the dairy farmers. Yeah, as you can see that. Uh, so my maize, my may fodder is still growing. It is a rainy season. So I'll continue advising farmers. I'll continue sharing the knowledge that I have that I've gained, and I believe. Uh, uh we'll go far we'll go far so if you like my video please like subscribe give me give me a like comment ask me anything that you may want some clarification on uh but above all subscribe subscribe yeah let me reach a thousand subscribers right now i'm uh, 40 subscribers but i believe if you watch this video and you just give a subscribe yeah give it a like yeah comment share it yeah i'll be glad yeah continue supporting me by all means that you can so that cow is called wajiro as you can see on the stack so i want to wish you a very 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 good day may you continue working may you continue uh farming yeah farming is good and remember future billionaires will be farmer as long as you are producing something to be eaten uh, you will be on the safer side because the population is growing and uh, people need all this. So feel free to comment, subscribe, like. I'll be glad. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching my videos and looking forward to upload more and continue uh, giving knowledge to you farmers. Thank you and may you have a wonderful day.